Hello, this is Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall, and welcome to my uh, 25th anniversary video for the 1995 Honda Accord. That's right, my family has owned this vehicle for 25 years now. Its 25th anniversary will actually be on uh, July the 25th, and so it's a few weeks early, but I figure I'd go ahead and do it. Plus, I'm going to be making a major uh, upgrade to this car in the next few weeks, and I want to get it as it is on camera before I do that upgrade so more on that um, later on in the video but anyway um, this has been best car I've ever driven or rode in in my entire life this car holds a lot and I mean a lot of memories so um, 25 years is a long time to own a car especially one owner and this car is uh, has never let me down. Well, it's kind of had a rough year, though. I will explain that. Uh, back in January, I started having this intermittent problem, a very bad intermittent problem, where the car would not start. It would not start one day, and then the next day it would start. And it would start for a few more days after that, but then out of nowhere it would just not start again. And because it was an intermittent issue, I was unable to uh, properly get it diagnosed and so for about six months um, I wasn't really able to drive this car like I have been all these years which is uh, unfortunate because um, I really do enjoy driving this car so instead I had to drive the uh, 2000 Civic which um, it's an okay car it's just I don't know, it's just not a very uh, outstanding car, in my opinion. So, um, I took it to the Honda dealership nearby. Yes, I know that's a very controversial uh, decision there to a lot of people. But it actually failed on them, as in it wouldn't start for them, and they were finally able to diagnose it. And it turns out it was a problem with the fuel pump. The PSI um, levels were nowhere near where they needed to be so they uh, replaced the fuel pump and that was about two about a, a week or two ago and ever since then it's uh, fired up every single time still a little bit paranoid but I think it's going to be okay also had some other work done to the car some major work um, for the last uh, three years or so it's had a minor oil leak and so I uh, while it was in the shop they fixed that the uh, oil pan had a crack in it and instead of replacing the oil pan they decided um, it would be cheaper to uh, weld it back together which was successful and the oil leak is completely gone now and unfortunately the oil leak also damaged the uh, spark plug wires and I think the spark plugs as well so they went on ahead and just replaced both the wires and all the, the spark plugs. So this car had a major tune-up as well. Because it was still running on the original uh, 1995 spark plugs. And so now they've um, been replaced for the first time in this car's life. And it seems like there was something else they uh, did to it. I'll think of it later, I guess. But... Um, but this car is running like a champ now, which is good because, you see, I'm getting married in September. I am leaving this house for the first time in my life to move out on my own. And I need a car for when I move out. And for a while there, I thought I was just going to be completely out of luck. Um, if this car wasn't working, then what was I going to do? I wasn't going to have a car. And I even considered, uh, I, and I even test drove a few other cars, because I was actually considering buying a new car, a used car. But I just could not find anything within a reasonable budget that I liked. And so I decided the more sensible option would just be to uh, get this car all fixed up, since, you know, this is the 1995 Honda Accord. This car is kind of special to me. <laughs> And so this car is the car that I am going to be driving to and from my wedding. I'll possibly even be driving it to and from my honeymoon. And so this car 
is going to serve me in my marriage life. As a, and as a matter of fact, I may even be driving my uh, newborn baby um, home from the hospital in this car. Of course, that's a long, long, long ways down the road. <laughs> but with as long as this car has lasted, I would not be surprised that that does become a reality. And so, um, let's just take a tour of this car. It's been a while since I've done a full view of this car. I am sad to say, though, that the paint is starting to fade on this car again. I had a complete paint job done to this car back in 2010 when I had a uh, rear-end collision. And they were able to um, completely repaint the car, which was really nice. And you see, this the driver's side still looks pretty good. And the trunk looks pretty good, but... The top of the trunk, the top of the car, and the hood is a bit faded because that's the part of the car that gets the most sunlight. And, you know, the paint's gotten to be 10 years old now, so it's bound to happen. I am kind of considering getting a new paint job um, at some point in the future. Don't know yet. Might not be worth it because the, as long as the internals of the car is functional, then uh, that's all that really matters. So, what else is there? Uh, tires are about uh, three years old, I guess. Nothing special about them, but they work. This is the uh, latest addition to my car. <laughs> when my fiancé and I visited Mount Airy a, a few weeks ago, uh, which is where... Uh, the late Andy Griffith is from and where uh, the town of Mayberry was based off of. I, I bought this bumper sticker at a, sticker at a gift shop. <laughs> I thought that was uh, be a fun addition to this car. Also, uh, someone is wanting to buy this car because a, uh, a bird made a deposit on it. I'm going to lose subscribers for that joke. I just know it. So yeah, very happy with this car. So, um, let's take a look at the uh, cockpit, I guess you could say. And it's uh, about the same as it's always been in here. Take a look at our uh, odometer reading right now. We're at 219,000 610 miles and I really need to put gas in this car today <laughs> there's my uh, wood grain uh, uh, steering wheel cover still got the original radio in here more on that later hello <laughs> and if you can see it or not there's the back seat so, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, fire her up. Listen to that baby purr. And yes, the check engine light is on. I did have that looked into. It turns out it's just a minor uh, exhaust um, recirculation issue. And the mechanics said that it's... Um, not going to affect the uh, reliability of the car in any way and for now to just not worry about it so I'm just going to do just that. It is annoying to have that light on but hey, it's not affecting anything so uh... anyway on to uh, the major upgrade that this car is getting and this is something that I've been dreading to do ever since I started driving this car 11 years ago. <sighs> This OEM radio is going to be leaving us. You see, I've been having some issues with the tape deck. Now, this uh, cassette adapter, which allows me to hook my phone up to it, this still works. But playing an actual cassette is uh, causing some issues. It's been going on for about a year now. And I don't know uh, how to fix that. So, uh, I think... And instead of, and I'm afraid that it's just going to get worse and worse to the point where this might not even work anymore at some point. 
And so I went to uh, Best Buy yesterday and purchased a new radio. It's a Pioneer head unit, single den, has a CD player, Bluetooth, auxiliary, USB, all the goodies. And I'm kind of excited to get this installed. Um, I gotta wait for a couple of weeks for their, because their installation schedule is backed up to due to COVID-19. So we're gonna have to wait on that, but I do have the radio in my room, in the house, ready to go for when it is installed. And to those wondering why I don't just do it myself, well, I just don't feel confident enough to do that, so. And this car actually already does have Bluetooth. Um, this little um, adapter right here connects into this uh, cassette adapter with a 3.5 inch, uh, or millimeter I guess I should say, uh, coupler, which allows me to uh, use hands-free phone calling in this car and to listen to music from my phone a lot easily. And uh, you can see the controls right there. And so, yeah, this is the reason why I want to go ahead and do this video now instead of closer to the car's actual anniversary because I want to get video of this car um, with this radio still in it. So, yeah, sad to see the original unit go. Oh, this thing has a lot of memories for me. I used to always uh, drive my parents crazy with this car because when I was a kid, we would listen to a tape of Peter, Paul, and Mary singing uh, Puff the Magic Dragon. And I would hit this button right here that says repeat and play that song over and over and over again. <laughs> and I actually used to call this button the again button. So yeah, even as a kid, this car fascinated me. Okay, just to show off the uh, functions of this car, this radio, the current one, um, I'm going to play a song off my phone via Bluetooth um, through this little adapter into the radio. And I'm going to be playing a song from the uh, YouTube audio library to avoid any uh, copyright um, slam dunks, I guess you could say. So uh, here we go. Just press this button. Okay, doing some uh, actual road footage now. I'm actually uh, driving to go uh, meet my fiance for the day. Spend some time with her, so that'll be fun. And so I figured uh, for a small portion of the uh, drive, I'll uh, show this car actually uh, doing its job, driving. <laughs> so yeah, this car, I tell you, it seems like every single major moment in my life for the past 25 years, this car has played some kind of role in it. First day of kindergarten back in 1995, um, this car drove me there. My first trip to the beach in 1996, this car drove me there. This car drove me to my first day of middle school, last day of middle school, drove me to my first day of high school, my, and my last day of high school. In fact, I, uh, it, um, I actually, I think I actually have video footage of me actually driving this car home from school that day to kind of bookend um, the video of me um, going to kindergarten. So that was kind of interesting. And, I met my now fiance um, when I uh, drove this car to go meet her last year, so that is really neat. First uh, major trip I took by myself to go see some friends of mine uh, down in Goldsboro, North Carolina. I drove this car, that was back in 2011. And so, yeah, 
it only makes sense for me to uh, drive this car to my wedding in September. It's it's just got to happen. And so I'm grateful and blessed that I will actually be able to uh, make that a reality. So I'm very glad I was able to get this car up and running. Because this car deserves to last for another 200,000 miles, if not more. And so we're now going to get on the interstate. I'm going to attempt to uh, show off um, the uh, horsepower of this car. Especially since this is kind of a uh, interstate that doesn't get a whole lot of traffic, so hopefully we'll be able to uh, get away with that. I take this um, next exit to stop at the gas station because as you saw a while ago um, I am on empty. <laughs> okay I'm back home now after a, a long day but a good one and I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like under the hood running pretty smoothly. This car does not have uh, Honda's famous VTEC though. Um, this was only offered on the uh, upper end EX models um, back when this car was uh, new. No another new thing about this car that I had done recently, I got a new battery. The uh, old battery was still working, just barely. It was put in this car back in 2012 and after eight years, um, I just had a feeling that it was about to go out on me at any time, so instead of um, getting stranded somewhere in a parking lot, I went on ahead and just had a new battery put in just so I don't have to worry about that happening. So yeah, she's running smoothly. Well, I hope you enjoyed this um, anniversary look at the uh, 1995 Honda Accord, now at age 25. So, until next time, this is Billy Corr, signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You may also support me on Patreon if you would like. Until next time, this is Billy Corr, signing off.